Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Hi, good evening. Welcome. How are you tonight? A little tired. Hi. Oh, Miss Jenny, um, did you figure out what happened? Uh, no. <laughs> you don't know yet? No. <laughs> uh, um, but I uh, working in this in the website, not in the app. Right. You'll have to give me your phone number then, or someone, so I can add you to the group. And let's verify what happened, okay? Okay. Let's do that. Yolanda, how are you tonight? Good, thanks. How about you? I'm good. Katya says she's okay. tired, but she's in class. Good. Welcome, Mr. Juan Carlos. Heidi, you're, you're good. All right. Hello. Are you ready to start? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Very good. We're going to review um some of the questions we're gonna work on the knowledge check did we finish this part last night no right no i used to collect no not po not 1.11 i don't think so let's finish this are you on the platform or have you already done this who finished this part me who, Miss Karen? No, Katya. Me, I, me no, too. No, me too, Sir Karen. <laughs> All right. Yolanda, have you finished this part? No, I haven't. Okay. Let's access the platform, everyone, and let's go to section 1.11. All right. Now, let's start. Um, Heidi, can you read number one, please? Where, where did Jory grow up? She grew up in Brinton, England. Uh, yeah, that's Brighton, England. Brighton. Yes, Brighton. is it one, two, or three? Three. Very good. Right, number two, Yolanda. Did Jerry have a hobby? Uh -huh. uh, Jerry used to paint and she still paints today okay very good next uh, mr juan carlos number three uh what games uh, what games did you used to play when you were a kid i i said to play basketball and football when I was a kid. So you say it's number two, one, two, or three, Mr. Juan Carlos? Number two. Yes, that is perfect. Very good. Number four, let's see, Miss Jenny. Okay, is what do you used to collect when you were a kid? I used to collect comic books when I was a kid. So the first one or the third one? First one. Okay, good job. Got the Lima, number five. My last job was easy and relaxing. I used, I used to work from 9 a.m., 4 p.m. Monday, Friday, and I had weekends off. Mm -hmm. I was used to. Let me see. My last job was easy and relaxing. I was used to work. Yes. Very good. Okay. You're doing an awesome <clears throat> job, everyone. You don't need help. <laughs> Pretty independent. All right. Look. Um... So I think we, we talked about the pronunciation of the time, right? How do you pronounce this, guys? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Right. You know, listen to that. You're saying nigh, not nine. nine. I don't hear this N. 
So you need to connect the sounds, right? And it's going to be 9 a.m. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Say 9 9 Okay. 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 very good. Nine a.m. Uh, kind of, all right, but don't forget to pronounce this N because nai is a different word and it actually, I, I don't think it exists, all right? But let's try to pronounce this N, 9 a.m. Okay. 9 a.m. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So everything should be right. Let me see. Yes. Partially. Let me see. Why is the last one incorrect? The last I, the last. Is the yeah, I used to. I used to work. Yes. From nine a.m. to four p.m. Good, good, good. Now, um, volunteer to read the objective. Me, Jenny. Go ahead. A built-in English conversation skill with the phrase used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to for questions, statements, negatives, and short answer with used to. Learn English phrase like, what sport do you use to play when you were a Kid, did you used to collect the things when you were a child and when I a kid? We can hear you, Jocelyn. Sorry. Okay, yes, I was saying everybody mute the microphone, please, because I hear a dog on the background. I don't know who it is. All right, good. And welcome, Angel Castillo, Mr. Noe Garcia. Welcome. <laughs> Mr. Jose Armando. Welcome, teacher. Ms. Mirna. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Good evening, uh, teacher. We just worked on section 1.11, all right? Now we're gonna go to a different one. By the way, guys, this is, the pronunciation of this is able to. Okay. And let's watch this video. Pay attention, please. Remember last night we were working with, uh, with questions using used to, and we were talking about things from our childhood, right? So I want you to pay attention to how the questions are structured. Guys, let's mute the microphone, please. All right. Um, so pay attention to how questions are structured and then we're going to continue practicing. Okay, let's watch. As you'll be able to make questions using used to. We'll practice making yes and no questions and WH questions. For example, you'll be able to make questions such as what sports did you use to play when you were a child? Did you use to collect anything when you were a child? What kind of things did you use to do for fun when you were a kid? As I mentioned previously, what we're going to do in this class is we're going to learn how to form questions using used to. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on creating yes and no questions as the one that I'm circling there that you used to collect things that's a yes or no question and then the way to answer that yes I used to collect comic books or no I didn't use to collect anything and also we're going to learn how to create those WH questions with used to let me start by presenting the structure And what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of the two questions that are here. As you can see, the first question is a yes or no question. 
And the second question, what sports did you use to play? That's an information question. That means that we have a WH word. So let's try to make sense of the first one first. Um, the um, yes or no questions don't have a WH word and therefore start with did. So did you use to, and it follows the verb in the present, collect things. Did is the auxiliary that we're going to use, and then that follows the subject. In this case, it happens to be you. That is going to follow used to. If you notice, used to is not in the past. It's in the present. And then it's going to follow the verb in, in its present tense. And then finally, we'll have some sort of complement. And how do we answer this type of questions? Well, we can either have a positive response such as, yes, I used to collect comic books. Or no, I didn't use to collect anything, but now I collect art. So let me try to give a couple of more examples, and we're going to continue to use that same structure. Um, we want to focus on doing yes and no questions at this moment. So let me ask you the following question. Did you use to listen to rock music? Okay. Did you, I'm going to say, did you play sports in high school? There we go. Now let me talk about creating WH questions. As you can see, that's the one at the bottom. Um, I mentioned that WH questions, we use this kind of questions to ask for information. And we'll borrow the example, we'll borrow that question that you see there. What sport did you use to play? So let me go ahead and write that down. What um, sports did you use to play? Sometimes we're going to have a compliment, sometimes we're not. In this case, we don't have a compliment. But uh, what sports? That's the WH word. That follows auxiliary did. And then after that, we're going to have a subject. After that, we're going to have used to. Notice that used to is in the present. And that follows the verb in its present form. Then sometimes you're going to have a compliment, sometimes you're not. So let me write a couple of more questions here so that you can get the hang of it. What uh, video games did you use to play when you were a kid? Okay, that'll be another one. So what video games, that will be my WH word, it follows the etc. did, subject is you, used to, and the verb in its present form, and then whatever complement. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice making questions. You're going to make yes or no questions and also WH questions. What I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to post some answers. And what you're going to do is you're going to come up with the best possible question to the answers that are stated here. You need to identify whether the answer is from a yes or no question or is it from a, a WH question and um, answer that accordingly. Okay, so that's basically what we were practicing last night, right? And since you didn't get the chance to practice a lot of them, but just like five or three, we will continue tonight, okay? So I'm going to resend the, the image in case you still don't have it. Let me see, where is it? Okay, here. I just resent it, and I would like you to work in groups of three again, okay? Do you have any questions about this topic that you see there what sport sorry. did you there it is and here's some examples so do you have any questions about the topic before we start tell me no teacher not you Mr. no 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 um karen no, jenny daniel katia no questions no. 
ready then? No, teacher. Thank you. Question. Everything's great. 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 Thank you, teacher. All right. Accept the invitation then, and let's practice. Hi, Noel. So we have Hi. Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Give Hi, me one Jenny. second, guys. Hi, Noel. Hi, Miss Jenny, Mirna. what's your phone number? Jennifer Martinez. Ah, okay, you are in the group. I have 7756-9758. That's your phone number. Yeah. Okay. This is my number. Ah, okay. So you got the image? This one? Wait, 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 wait. You got it? All right, we're gonna discuss yeah, these questions. All right, well, you okay. go. Let's practice. Practice question, maybe number seven or eight. All right, not the first okay. one. Go ahead. Okay, and number is, Robert, and uh, we grab together but he uh, went to the united states if we, uh, so you don't see it, him anymore <laughs> no, only sometime with chat but not okay there. i understand okay what in question, my case you're discussing these questions right what question are you discussing the favorite relative ah uh, what do you who, who used, used to be, be the you yeah, your favorite relative and why. Uh, okay, all right, good, good, continue, it's okay. Okay, okay, for the other one was Poopy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and my cat, um, his name was, um, okay, and I used to play with my uh, brothers, and sisters and uh, uh, we used to play Arranca Cebolla <laughs> uh, I don't know how how can I say in English no and I don't know. what else no? Uh, no I don't know I don't think they play that game <laughs> ah, okay perfect <laughs> so uh, Tentarro for example mm -hmm. and um, Something like that. And the guerra de, de, de vejigas con aguas. <laughs> so like water balloons. A water ah, balloon water balloons. Warm. Thank you, teacher. Okay, water balloons warm. Right. Uh, Mr. Angel, did you used to play Arranca Cebolla? Uh, yes. <laughs> and you, Katia? <laughs> yes. In the college, yes. Uh, what, in school or in college? I don't think in the university you used to do that, so maybe it's uh, cooling, right? <laughs> in the school. Yeah, everybody, I play that too, I remember. Mr. Juan Carlos, is he here? No, right? No, he's not here. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Did you used to play yeah. Arranca Cebolla too? No, no, I, I didn't. Didn't use the uh, play. Okay. No. I, I didn't use the right. Very good. Continue discussing. You're doing good. Uh, question for us. Okay. What did you do to love? doing in your free time what sorry what did you what did you use to love doing in your free time to love doing in, okay um, uh, me or me okay. if you want to start uh, then you can do. okay 
Okay. Sorry, I don't understand. Yeah, if you want, you could start. Yeah. Okay, the question is um, it's almost okay. El niño que está con la pelota. Ah, okay. Yes. What do you used to love doing in your free time? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> I used to, to play um, uh, watch series. Series? No sé cómo se dicen. Series. Series. Yeah. And movies. Mm -hmm. Oh, very good. What about what about you, Noe? Um, when I used um, I used to love um, go to swim. Okay. Or Mr. Uh, Noe, let's say yes? I used to love going to swim. I used to love playing. Oh. So you're going to use love and ing. Okay. Okay, I used to love uh, going to swim. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> sorry, I used to love. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I I been sick. Okay. Um, I used to love um, going to swim. Uh, I used to love playing football. Uh, Yes. Okay. Who who used to be your favorite relative? Why? Hello. Um. Who you? Who used to be your favorite relative? And why your mom, your father, your brother? I don't know. Whose turn is it to answer? Okay. I don't understand the, the question. The question. Ah, okay. Mm, I think teacher is, is a person in your family, right? Yes, a relative. No, or no. Who used to be your favorite relative is, yeah, your cousin, aunt, your father, your grandmother. That's relative is pariente, okay? Okay. Uh, okay. So who used to be your favorite relative? Mr. Angel Castillo, tell us. <laughs> My relatives uh, is uh, uncle. Before, um, ten years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Miss Katia, are you there? Yes, I am. You say My you don't have favorite. a favorite relative, right? My girl. Oh, okay. Very good. All right, Miss Katya, ask one more question. They were almost going to go back right now. Who did you fight with? I want to do it. Um, I, lo I love mathematics. 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 Yes, um, I was in school, not not too bad, you know. Um, so but, I but tried you to a be boy. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so good memories. You know? Okay. Now, Tanya. Uh, well, I used to be a good student. But um, I think that I'm too rebel because <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just rebel because not always I enter to class and 
always I have good notes. Uh, yeah. Good grades. Good grades. Great, 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 sorry. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I think that everything to learn is easier, easier to me. Okay. It's the same for me, I think. I feel like a very easy learning person. Yeah, you call that a fast learner. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys learn fast or you are fast learners? Yeah. I think that I learn fast. <laughs> okay. I learn. I learn. Okay. Welcome back. Did you practice more this time? Yes, a little bit more. Yes, yes. we did. Yeah, you sound more fluent. Do you feel it? <laughs> yeah. You notice? We are getting we are getting used to this kind of well, it's my case. I'm getting used to this kind of communication and this kind of taking class. Is it new for you? Is it, is it the first time? Yeah, yeah, it's the first time. Yes, how about the rest of you? Are you getting adapted? Yeah. I think that this technique is, is funny. <laughs> or it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> what did you say, Heidi? It's not... It's not stress. I uh, really always in my English class I feel stressed. <laughs> but not in this class. No. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Seriously. All right. Hey, that's very nice. Yeah, you know, what's the difference between funny and fun? So if I tell you a comedy, is it fun or funny? Funny. 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 Uh, okay. If right. you go to the beach, is it fun or funny? It's fun. Fun. Aha, uh -huh. oh. you see. Okay, if I tell a joke, is it funny or fun? Ninguna. Fun. <laughs> None of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be funny, right? Okay, and you will see your friends, is it fun or funny? Funny. 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 Mm, or both. Funny. Right? So, you understand the difference? Mm, I think so. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Well, Brad, I don't know. All right. Uh, fun is divertido, okay? And funny is something that makes you laugh. All right. So divertido, gracioso. It's not the same. And both of them are adjectives. So fun and funny. All right. Very good. And let me see. I want to ask you now that we're talking, all right. Let me let me know if you're on this list. So, do I have Miguel Angel? No, right? Angel Castillo, no. are you Miguel Angel or you're not? No. Yes, Miguel, ah, you're Angel. Miguel Angel. Okay. Yo tengo otros nombres. Let me see. Juan Carlos Cermellón is here, right? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you are. Okay. Eric Cuellar. Yeah, yeah. No. Jose Luis. Miguel Flores. Mi teacher. Angel Castillo. No, no, Miguel Flores. No, right. Miguel Flores. Lisette, no, no. Teacher, it's uh -huh. me. Ah, okay. It's okay. me, Miguel Flores. It's me, Angel Castillo. <laughs> All right, good, good. Lisette uh, Escrit. That's why I'm asking, because I feel like I have repeated names. Uh, Jenny Martinez is here, and Heidi Cáceres is here. She's here, she's here. All right, very good. Okay, awesome. Uh, do you have any questions? No, did you? All right. No. no. Let's continue then. Um, mm -mm. Sorry. We're going to do this exercise. Can you go to the platform if you haven't finished it yet? All right, let's go to the platform and 
let's answer. So, Danielle, can you help me with number one, please? All right. Um, did you used to worry about money when you were younger? Say younger. Younger. Right. Younger. You have, for example, you have general. That's j -j -j, but this is e more like you, right? Younger. 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 It's like younger. Younger. Oh, younger. Uh, younger. younger. Right. right. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, so the pronunciation is different. It's not a G. So it's a Y. Okay. So are you saying number one, two, or three? Daniel? Mm. Uh, I think that number two. Very good. And number two, Karen Asensio. Okay. Which is the correct? Did you use the follow Which is the right. mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Just let me check the mm -hmm. Everybody think about number two and three. Or it's right, the, the first one. The first one? Uh, the number, yes, yes. Did you use to follow politics four years ago? Yes, very good. Uh, next one, Katia Lima. Choose the best question to match this answer. I used to care a lot about my appearance. Now I'm too busy to care how I look. Very good. So what do you think it is? What the what did you use to care about when you were younger? First one. Yes, that sounds right. Very good. Number four, uh, Yolanda. Okay. <clears throat> Complete the question. What kind of video game? Uh, did you used to play when you were a teenager? The second one. What did you use to play? All right, let me send it and let's see if it's right. Yes, good job. Everything is good. <laughs> <laughs> then it was celebrating, but I don't. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> it's like that, like <laughs> muted. <laughs> All right, so is everybody on the platform? You finished this part? Yes, the church. Okay. Awesome. Yes. So that means we can start a new topic. Uh, Jose Armando, would you read the objective, please? Read for everyone. Okay. <clears throat> Lesson. Learn how to describe problems in English using count and non-count nouns. By the end of this class, you will you will learn how to describe problems in a in a city using phrase phrase like too much, too many, too much, less, fewer, enough, and more. You will also also learn about common con, com, non count non count nouns, including water, oxygen, English, traffic, milk, soccer, sunshine, etc. And understand how to tell if a noun is count or not count. An English oral comp compre comprehension audio exercise is included. Very good. Okay, let's check some pronunciation. So this is learn. 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 Right, learn. And we were saying that some of you are fast learners, right? So who is a fast learner? Raise your hand. Let me see you. If, you're, if you learn fast. I don't know. Juan Carlos is like this, so I don't know if that's him. <laughs> Let 
Lucy, <laughs> Heidi, I Karen, <laughs> Karen, not you. Ah, no, Edgar. Yes, yeah, me, teacher. No, oh, everybody here learns quickly. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> right, that's awesome. Anyway, um, hold on. There's another one here. For example, this is comprehension. This one, comprehension. 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 This is oxygen. 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 oxygen and sunshine that's a sound right sunshine sunshine sunshine, sunshine. 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 very good okay before we watch the video hold on before we watch it i want to give you a tip on how hi everyone to... by the end of this class you... <laughs> on how to know how to determine whether something is countable or non-countable for example all right, eh, Kaiser, shh. <laughs> we're gonna shh that dog, right? <laughs> that dog wants to bark in English. <laughs> He's practicing. <laughs> All right, anyway, how do you know whether you can count something or not? Okay, I'm gonna say, this is something I made up, all right? So I'm, I call it like the rule of three. Can I say, is it okay for you to say three? waters yes or no? no 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 so that means that this is a non-count noun right okay. uncountable okay can i say for That's example right. uh three three english can i count it no no no, no. yeah so this is like a easy way to know whether something is countable or not all right without having to think too much but you also know that everything there is a possibility for absolutely everything to be counted right for example advice can i say guys can you give me if some can you give me some advices is that correct yes yes it is no no <laughs> No, not in English. We cannot count the okay. dices. Yes, we're going to say, can you give me some pieces of advice? Yes. Okay. Pieces of advice. So I can say in this case, oh, three pieces of advice. All right. And I already made it countable by using another word. Okay. How do I make water countable? Bottle of water. Yes, okay, give me three bottles of water. Now it is correct because I'm using the word bottle of water, okay? So everything can be counted if you put it in a container, you put it by weight, meaning kilos, milligrams, I mean, grams, right? Um, or if you use, for example, pieces, portions, everything can be countable, okay? Okay. But let's okay. see. Yeah, let's watch a video. Oh, by the way, news, can you say, I watched a news today? Can I say a new? I watched a new today? News. News is No, news. No. News. No, teacher. <laughs> Only news. news. news I don't is like. always plural, okay? And yeah. series, like TV series, is always plural as well, all right? So if you want to say, I, I watched a piece of news today, okay? About, um, about the, the flu or how do you call this new virus going on? Coronavirus. 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 I heard a piece of news today about coronavirus. So if you want to make it countable, all right? Or I watched a series on Netflix. Okay. Anyway, that's like the general thing about countables and uncountables, but let's watch this video. Everybody mute the microphone, please. You'll be able to describe problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program, which illustrates how this topic is used.
First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. For example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So for example, in our chart we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking. Those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flour, things like sports, soccer. All of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city and remember that the in order to Okay, uh, let's read some of these examples. Okay, with things that we can count, we're going to use things like too many, fewer is more, and enough, right? So read with me and let's say there are too many cars. There are too there many, are too many, too cars. many cars. There are too many cars. There are too there many are. cars. There are too many, there are too many, too many cars. cars. Very good. There should be fewer cars. There, there should, should be fewer, be fewer cars. cars. There should be fewer cars. We need more subway lines. We need, we need more, more subway, subway lines. lines. Right. There aren't enough buses. There, there aren't, aren't enough, enough buses. buses. Very good. And with non-count, we're going to use uh, much. All right. Remember, many is for things that you can count in much is for things you cannot count, all right? Don't forget that. So let's read. There is too much traffic. Mm -hmm. there, is there is too, too much, much traffic. traffic. There should be less pollution. There, there should, should be, be less, less pollution. pollution. Yes, we need more public transportation. We need more, more public, public transportation. transportation. There isn't enough parking. There, there is enough, enough parking. parking. Okay, very good. So um, the, the things here are things that we cannot count, right? If you see this list, all of these we cannot count unless we put it in a container, as I was saying. So uh, you can use this for the examples here. I would like you to make one example for each structure. So I want one example with too many, one example with fewer, and so on. All right, let's work in pairs. Do you have any questions about the activity? No. You do? No. Just no. write one example, all right? Make a file or something or write it on the notebook. And when you finish, I will ask some of you to 
share with the class, all right? So just write one example for each one. Can somebody take a screenshot and send it to, to the group, please? That would be nice. All right, and accept the invitation, please. I want that. And know what? What can we say? Bicycles. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are too many trees. Mm -hmm. There should be mm. I don't know. They should be fewer trees. Okay. We need more parks in the city. Clear. Do you hear me? Yes, but yes, but uh, with trouble. Hello. Hello. Yes, I think it's her internet. So I'm going to change both of you to go with a different group and work with them. All right. So accept the invitation again, Mr. Noir. And we and I will send you one as well. Okay, sure. <laughs> Your own examples. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> for my son? <laughs> yeah, for your example. Right. Um, so. Mr. Jose, do you have this on your screen? I mean, on your WhatsApp? Yeah. Yes, we have it. No. So no. This, this is what we're doing. <laughs> okay. Ah, yes. Uh, All right. Yeah, we are we are practicing. All right. Practicing. But it's your turn yeah. right now. So tell me, instead of yes. there are too many cars, <laughs> what would you say? I say there are too many chairs and be as an uh, example. Too many chairs. Chairs, yeah. Okay, very good. Let's do one with a, there is too much. What would you say? Oh, there is, there are too much water. No, but no, you cannot say there are because are is plural. Oh, okay, okay. There is too much. Yes, there you go. There is too much. Water. Yes, excellent. All right, one more. Uh, I think uh, there should be uh, fewer. Hello? 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 Can we hear you. That's right. I don't have uh, much time, maybe? No. Yes, that works. Okay. All 
Okay, I think everyone's back. Um, would you share some of the examples with me, please? Let's see, with the first one, anybody? Daniel, go ahead. <laughs> you know, Daniel, you can digitally raise your hand. <laughs> there is an option because sometimes I'm looking at some other people, but I happen to be looking at you right now, like your screen, this part. Hey, Arnold Foyer, welcome. I haven't seen you. No, just the same. He's new. Okay, Daniel, go ahead. Daniel, you're muted. Uh, I think that I have too many jackets right now. Okay, that works with fewer. Example with fewer. Um, we are fewer. I work company or? Mm, no fewer no you would say there are few few uh, right uh, no, not fewer okay and what mean fewer <laughs> fewer is menos what's the okay. meaning of fewer right, okay. uh, another person could give me an example with there aren't enough Volunteers. I don't know. It's correct. There aren't enough jobs. There aren't enough jobs. Yes, it's perfect. Yeah, jobs. Yeah, you can say work. You cannot count, but jobs you can. So there aren't enough jobs. Very good, uh, Mr. Angel Castillo. Give me an example with too much, please. Come on, guys, quickly so we can finish. Go ahead. Jose Armando, your smile tells me you want to participate. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there is too much. What I say doesn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. Mr. Noe Garcia, less. Um, uh, <clears throat> there should be. <clears throat> less uh, river pollution. Uh-huh, okay. So pay attention because you say fewer and less both means menos, okay? But one, you're gonna use fewer, take notes on your notebook or somewhere, guys. You should have a notebook, you know, and be taking notes in class or something. <laughs> but yes, right, fewer is menos, okay? But for countables and less is for non-countables, all right? Okay, one more example with isn't enough. Miss Katia Lima. We don't hear you. Oh, his screen is frozen. Okay, volunteer. Come on, come on. Last one. How do you say refugios for animales? Um, animal shelters. Shelter. There isn't enough animal shelters. Yes, the thing is that shelters is countable and it's plural. Uh, it's countable. So you're going to say are or is. Are. Right, so it is okay Adding you enough. can use both, all right? <laughs> but there aren't enough animal shelters. You can count it. So it's are as in plural, okay? Very good. Um, do you have any questions? Tomorrow we have no class. Okay. Woo! Or, or you're gonna <laughs> cry or celebrate? I'm gonna have party. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, no classes tomorrow? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. it's Friday tomorrow. So, yeah, we don't have any classes. And if you have any questions, let me know. You can always message me or the group through WhatsApp. Continue practicing. Please work on. Let me see what section did we finish tonight? Oh, we started section two, I think. Yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah, we started two. So make section sure, two. uh huh, make sure you're up to date and that you at least have finished the first one, all right? Okay. Great. Thank you for being in class and Thank have you. a great weekend. I will see you on Monday, everyone. Every one of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.